Park City, Utah. It is best known for Sundance Film Festival, for the amazing ski runs, and we're not here for either of those. We've got small kids, so they're pretty much disqualified from everything, except for two things, which is why we're here. All of the art and all of the food. And we're gonna go do both. First things first though, checking in to our amazing Airbnb. Every review of Park City will tell you, you should either start or end your day with Java Cow because it's either got the hot chocolate and the pastries or it's got the ice cream. But that's not why I was excited to go visit Java Cow. Look at that. We walked into Main Street and we found Banksy. This is my first one I've ever actually seen in person, which might be a little ironic that it's the one we're filming and he's making social commentary about ruining things by filming. Dad, what is that guy with took was a little bit of sugar for everybody's energy levels to peak and suddenly we were in the mood to go exploring and find all of the art, both street and gallery, that Park City has to offer. And there was some pretty cool stuff. Park City has so many cool things. In my opinion, the absolute best time to visit is the second week of November because everything's starting to open up, the events are starting to happen, but it's not crowded like it is in the high season. It gets really dark and really cold really early in Park City, and so we decided to stop in, get out of the cold, and grab a family-friendly bite to eat. And we found the perfect place to do it right on Main Street. dinner, the sun was completely set and the girls were frozen to the bone. So we decided to get back to our cozy Airbnb and get warmed up, which was great because the girls still had plenty of energy. They could run around and play and we didn't have to be outside in the cold. Being able to get a good night's rest and turn in early turned out to be a really good thing because we had saved all of the most exciting stuff for day two. Not every meal in Park City that is worth eating is in a restored historic building. So just because it's in a strip mall, don't let five seeds fool you because it is absolutely worth it. And you know it's worth it because you got people lining up outside. know me at all, it's not surprising that this was my absolute favorite meal of the entire trip. Breakfast foods, really great takes on classic meals, really delicious juice as well, and of course the girls couldn't care less. They were more interested in their coloring books, which was fine. This trip is as much for them as it was for us, and so after we had this wonderful sit-down breakfast, we decided to get out and explore the walking art all over the city. Yet again, the sun was setting and it was getting cold, and so we decided to settle back into our cozy Airbnb and let the girls get warmed up, which worked out perfectly. Our Airbnb was across the street from the restaurant that I had been dying to try since the moment we had arrived. 
We saved what's supposed to be the best for last. Everybody raves about freshies. It's supposed to be the best lobster roll in Utah, maybe anywhere. We just talked to the guy running the shop and he said that they took the recipe to a lobster roll competition in Maine, home of the lobster roll, and won popular vote and second place in judges vote. So I'm excited to give this a try. And as an added bonus, they just happen to be across the street from our Airbnb. So I'm gonna drop this off with the fam and see what they think. I know you said you didn't want to bite, but like, you should bite. Like, <laughs> if you want to try to have the same adventure we did, I'm leaving links to everything in the description below. It was an absolute blast to be able to go through and eat some of the best food in Park City and have a really great time with the family. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll catch you on the next one.